Right. You go to high school in Inglewood. You think you're going to get into Harvard? I'm from a poor, crime-filled neighborhood, raised by a single mother, don't know my dad, blah, blah. It's cliche. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Malcolm Adekambi. I'm a straight-A student with nearly perfect SAT scores. You probably got, like, one of them photogenic brains. <laughs> you mean photographic memory? What'd I just say? I mean, yeah, you, you said it. Yeah, just reiterating. I play in a punk band with my friends, and I'm a 90s hip-hop geek. You gonna say something or just stare at me? A bad day for most geeks would be being the butt of jokes. Some brother really needs to invent an app like ways to avoid all these hood traps. It is time we started expanding our horizons. We're not going to a drug dealer's birthday party. But when you live in the bottoms... Well, I'll go if you go. Okay! A bad day could look like this. We were dancing, man. <laughs> man, if I let this lie, we got what they call a slippery slope. You know what a slippery slope is? Do a guy anything to do with skiing? <laughs> Shut your ass down! Don't make swap. Do you have what I left in the backpack? Did he actually say I'll kill you and your friends if you don't get rid of these drugs, or just you? Don't act like you weren't curious, too. Okay, hey, all we gotta do is find the white people. Go to Coachella, Lollapalooza. We don't know nothing about drugs. You do. We need to know if you're gonna help us. Okay. Nobody's gonna suspect a thing. We're just geeks doing what geeks do. I don't want to go to jail. I want to go to college. Ah, slippery slope. Exactly. You play with me, my little boy from the hood? Hey, wait, wait, wait. I am the authority in keeping a proper brother to Horatio. So unless you got some boobies. What? Like, boys don't cry. Remember we were saying it? I remember that. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Malcolm Adekandi. Can you dig it? You can call me N-word, and I can't say it. Technically, he shouldn't be able to say the word. Why can he okay, use it? Okay, because I'm 14% African. For Ancestry.com. Look, just say the damn word. You're my... <laughs> it was a reflex. So as any regular internet browser knows, one of the most popular things to do these days is to take a property and show how it would look if Wes Anderson directed it. There have been some real genius ones. Uh, one of my favorites, of course, is the one SNL did about a horror film with Edward Norton standing in for Owen Wilson, but it always basically makes for a, a pretty good time. And Wes Anderson's style is so unique that it can be copied pretty accurately and has been. And the reason I bring that up here is it looks like someone has taken an urban film and given us the Wes Anderson version of it. And I have to say, it's pretty fascinating to behold. Uh, now, I reviewed the teaser trailer for this movie, which really focused a lot on, um, you know, artistic aspects to it. It layered on a lot of animation. And you see some elements of that here in this trailer as well, but they've inserted a lot more of the story to show you this isn't, you know, it's, 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 it's as much entertainment as it is art, which is a question I posed when I saw the teaser. Uh, now, I think this film looks really good for many reasons, not only because of its stylistic choices, which again, I find fascinating, but I like that it shows uh, a message of breaking down stereotypes. I think that's always exciting to see in something that's meant for mass consumption. And I hope this movie does get a lot of uh, his consumed by many people. Uh, and also though, I think the acting is fantastic. Very impressed with the cast here. And now when I reviewed the teaser trailer, I pointed out that you have the actor here, one of the actors, the guy who says he's 14% uh, African-American is, uh, let's see here, Tony uh, Revolori from the Grand Budapest Hotel. So I'm so glad to see him getting more work. Uh, their androgynous female friend, uh, her name uh, is uh, Kiersey Clemens. And if you watched uh, Eye Candy on MTV, I'm sad to say I did watch two episodes of it. Uh, she was looks totally different there. So uh, showing a lot of range for that actress. But I think that the real standout here by far and away is our lead. And this is uh, uh, Shamik Moore. And Shamik Moore is someone you're going to want to pay attention to. Not just because of his outstanding work here in this trailer, but what he has coming up. Now, he comes from uh, a, a live-action comedy show on Cartoon Network called Incredible Crew. I've never seen it, uh, but apparently it has a following. Uh, but that, And it's produced by Nick Cannon, who, of course, has his own comedy roots. But 
Uh, Shamik Moore is also going to be one of the leads on Baz Luhrmann's upcoming urban musical, uh, The Get Down, which is coming on Netflix in 2016. So uh, maybe Baz Luhrmann got a chance to see this film uh, on the festival circuit where it's been doing very well, and that's why he cast Shamik Moore. But uh, this is very exciting. And also, it looks like uh, I think a lot of us have been wondering what Baz Luhrmann's property would look like, this, what this project would look like, and I think now we're getting, it's coming a little bit more into focus with, uh, by seeing one of the leads uh, come across so well. You're like, oh, I like that guy a lot, I'd be interested to see what else he does. So I think this is fantastic, and as I've said many times before, well actually, not many times, because this is a new change, but as I've commented before, I think it's so exciting to see the success of quote-unquote black film leading to uh, experimentation in other genres, and that, you know, the uh, black filmmakers and black talent aren't resting on the laurels of their success and just doing the same thing over and over again. They're taking that success and uh, and using it to move into other areas of film, to push what people expect of them, to push their own boundaries of what they can deliver, and going and directing other movies and working outside of even what you would expect. Uh, for instance, you know, of course, we've had the success of Antoine Fuqua, etc., uh, but then, for instance, The Longest Ride, that Nicholas Sparks movie that just came out, that had a, a black director. So, very exciting times indeed, and I think that this film looks really, really Good. For all the attention that Me, Earl, Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl is getting, I think out of the gate with their ad campaigns for the general public, this film looks stronger. So I'm curious to what you think. Uh, I'd be uh, very interested to continue this conversation with you down below in the comments, so please be sure to leave your thoughts, and you can check out some other episodes right now.